Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. Today, I'm going to be installing, finally, some hood struts on my Jeep Gladiator Mojave. You know, the last time I lifted the hood, I thought, why don't I have these things? So we're going to do it. What I've got, I'll show you real quick here. These come from Rival, and there are two hood struts. You can see right there. And all of the hardware to go ahead and put them in. We've got a little bit here. I'll show you the brackets in a minute. All you need uh, is an Allen key, a number four, and then also a number 10 socket to put these on. Now, to go ahead and do it, uh, they attach, and here are the brackets, right up here in the front. And it's the furthest bolt up or the closest bolt to the cab. And it's actually gonna be this one. When you put this on, you wanna make sure that the little nub here is furthest away from the cab. Because the other one, if you put it on, would be opposite, obviously, and it would be like so, close to the cab. That would be wrong. Then you have the top bracket, which actually fits right up here where this slot is. And that's where we're gonna put this in. And this is where the no drill part actually comes in. And it would go on like so. You'd slip it down over one bolt and turn it sideways and tighten it down. Pretty darn simple to do. All of this to get rid of this stupid rod, which every time I bring it down, sounds like this little holder up here is gonna break off. So first step to go ahead and mount these brackets on the sides. Again, they're 10 millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and do that. You may hear a pop. That's normal. It's kind of the trim work right there. The trim work popping up uh, from, I guess, probably sticking to the paint down below. I'm not exactly sure why we get that pop, but we do. Normal thing. Then the bracket, and what I do is just push it up right against the, uh, the trim work here. Uh, really just for a way to place it. There's no real specific reason for that. And I imagine there's a little play in this, so probably doesn't really make that big of a difference. So, got it on, got to go ahead and tighten it up. And I wouldn't go crazy tightening it. I mean, you certainly can strip the screw or strip the, strip the uh, threaded insert in there. So you just want to snug it real well, nothing uh, over the top. And for me, I'm more of a put it on until my arm or the screw breaks kind of guy. So you want to make sure you don't do that. I'd say about just like that. So that's all you do to put that side on. Now, as I mentioned up here, we're going to go into this little uh, slot that's right here. You can see to do that, we need to go ahead and thread a screw in here because we're gonna use the screw to hold this bracket in that slot. You don't want it to fall in. I actually had that happen once on, uh, on an install I did and I had to get another bracket. So we're just gonna thread one in like so and then we're gonna use this to hold it while we stick it in and then get the other screw threaded in there and then nothing's gonna fall out. So ever so carefully, I'm gonna use the one screw to hold it and then the other to uh, kind of get it threaded in there because it kind of straddles the area there a little bit. Once you get the other screw in, you're okay. It can't fall inside. Then you want to go ahead and slide the bottom of the slot over that screw. Just like that. And then you want to go ahead and just tighten it down. Again, it's a number four Allen key. And then we'll move on to the other side. Once you have it on, shine a little light. I know it's backlit. Uh, it should look like that. Obviously, with the little nub here pointing on the inside. Otherwise, it'd be hanging outside of the truck. So, we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay, that gets the brackets on. Now, all we have to do is go ahead and get the struts ready, and we can go ahead and fasten those on. Now, for the struts, you're supposed to work them a little bit 
they say five times, uh, pushing them in and out. Uh, I guess just to kind of prime them a little bit, I'm not sure. So we're gonna do that five times each, and these things are quite stout. Uh, so you have to put a little bit of effort into it. Full disclosure, when I sat the one I had just done down to grab uh, a cloth or something to put on my palm, because these do dig right into your hand, I forgot which one I had already done. So I did them both, again, one twice. I don't know, let's put them on. All right, to put these on, the fat part, the bigger part, goes at the bottom, the skinny part goes at the top, and it just pushes on right over the nubs. Might have to put a little bit of pressure, might have to rock it a little bit to get it on. I'm not sure which one to start with is easier, honestly. So I think I'm gonna start probably with the top, actually. Okay, uh, might have actually been easier to start with the bottom. Uh, I did have to raise the hood up a little bit and I did that by just taking it out of the slot and sitting it up here on the side because it was a, just a hair too low to fit that side on, but I got it on. So now let's see about doing the other one. And on this one, I'm actually gonna start on the bottom well, that one went on way too easy. That's a little scary. Let's twist this a little, I think. And let's see. And that one went on way easy on the top too. Always scares me when things work easier than uh, you think they should, <laughs> you know? But nonetheless, it seems to be on, so that's cool. Now we just need to see if it actually works. Let's do a little test. Get this thing out of the way, hopefully forever. There we go. Yeah, get my flashlight out of, out of the way. Here we go. Well, that worked pretty easy. Now. There you go. Isn't that awesome? I got to tell you, it beats the heck out of screwing with this, muscling up the top, because if you didn't know, this is a steel roof or hood, and it's pretty darn heavy. Not anymore. Check that out. Love it. Now, there's one thing I wanted to check because I have a Voss switch over here, and I want to make sure that I have clearance that I'm not hitting the wiring. So we're gonna take a look at that. Look at that, just clears it. Wow. I didn't see any wiring move in there. Let's broaden this out a little bit. Okay, I think I'm golden. Awesome, one more quick uh, try. Put the hood down and go ahead and just let it go. And even if I had to help it up, it takes such a, an amount of force off that it is well worth it. No more.